Get the f*** out of here! <laughs> Go home! We don't want you here. We don't like your kind here. We only like people in blue cars around here. One more. Don't honk at me. <laughs> Don't honk at me, asshole. <laughs> the gate is open. Time to go through. Are you ready for what's on the other side? No. Nope. Oh, God dang it. I didn't actually think that this was real. But I was wrong. It's very real. <laughs> yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. Rick and Morty... The anime. Apparently this is real. And I don't know what to think other than just... Huh? I mean, okay. Let's be fair. The whole Justin Roiland situation really threw a, a big monkey wrench into the middle of a lot of future Rick and Morty plans. Right? Apparently not. Well, I know that they replaced him in Solar Opposites. Which, that's through Hulu, so I'm not sure if that's, you know, if that has to, if that's going to be, you know, continued or at, if they're going to bring Royland back. But, yeah, I don't know. There's just, there's just a lot that is... I actually haven't followed up any on on what what's been happening with Justin Roiland. All I know is that that he was accused of that, and there's a lot of people who there's a lot of people who just like they go, well, I always knew something was wrong with him, and then and now apparently it it's over. I I don't know. I mean, have you heard anything? I mean, y'all let us know, like, how yeah, it is. Since the initial happenings were... It was basically, like, due to accusations, Adult Swim has cut all ties with Justin Roiland, and the Rick and Morty team will be continuing the show without him. Okay, there it is. Justin Roiland ha has been cleared of all charges. He wasn't found innocent. But, yeah, apparently they're just... Yeah. Uh, yeah, those charges have been dropped. Charges dropped. Uh, yeah, so it was around March when the, all the charges were dropped. Uh, let's see. Won't be returning despite charges being dismissed. Probably means they still think he did it. Maybe. Ended its association with Justin Roiland. Sound alikes. Well, that's. Uh, that's interesting. Well, okay. So, all that being aside, though, apparently Rick and Morty, the anime, is a thing. And I guess, I, I don't know what to say other than just, let's see, let's see if it's shit. <laughs> this is really weird. Yes, and I wait. What? Okay, who is she?
<laughs> you're Rick's hair. <laughs> Rick finally used the comb. Oh, telecom, okay. Konnichiwa. Rick and Morty, Nihon Ban Kanto no Sano des. Eh. 日本版監督であると同時に、本家アメリカ版リッカのモーティの大ファンでもあります。えー、今回ですね、世界中にリッカのモーティのファンたくさんいると思うんですけど、yeah. その中から僕が新しいリッカのモーティのストーリーを作れるということで、大変光栄に思っています。Mm. 光栄であると同時に、本家の出来が良すぎるんで、大変プレッシャーでもあります。えー、今回の10本のシリーズはですね、えー、私がリッカーノ・モーティを見て好きな部分を、えー、こう消化してギュッとエキスだけ取り出してそれに日本版独自のエッセンスを足して作ろうと思ってやってます。えー基本的にはリックとモーティーたちのですねあの時空を超えたドタバタ時空を股にかけたっていうか時空に翻弄されながら冒険をする物語をまずは楽しんでいただきたいと思いますで10本見終わった後にですねなえそこはかとなくある気分を感じてもらえると思います<笑>、yeah. それが僕が思ってるリックアンドモーティに対する思いだと思いますその辺を楽しんでぜひご覧くださいはい<笑><笑>バイバイ Well, I'll be damned Yeah, this is not something I expected at all No! <laughs> Also, that intro song was fairly hype. Yeah. I mean, I was headbanging with you there a little bit. I was like, hmm, yeah, they're getting getting heavy into this. But damn, I, I did not expect at all any of this. And I don't know if... I, I don't know if it's still set in yet that this is... Uh, that this is you know, it feels like happening. an Adult Swim April Fool's thing. And yes. If this was April, I would be like, well, clearly this was just a complex April Fool's thing that they decided to do, you know. But it's not April, so... <laughs> well, here's here's what I'm doing. I'm looking over here at what day it is. April 3rd, or not April 3rd, but uh, August 3rd. And it would be such an Adult Swim move if instead of, you know, 4 one they did a thing where it was 8-2, and it was just like, it was like, they tried to like, make an excuse to be like, yeah, we tried to, we we were trying to have some fun with you. Yeah, it's like, instead of this, we were late getting this out for April, so instead we released it, you know, exactly four months and one day later. <laughs> and that's, that'd be like my, their the logic behind it. Because, it's, Adult Swim has done some very, very silly stuff, and I don't know. Uh, I don't know a hundred percent if they would pull stuff like that or pull something like that. But it would. I wouldn't put it past them. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, it's but, like this is one of those things where I'm like, okay, um, don't really know what to think about that. It's like this could either be. Not as good as the original, but still all right. Or could be possibly even better than the original. Just really depends. Probably, yeah. 
It's like if I mean a Japanese twist to me means a couple of things. So one, like, just they have different ideas than we tend to. It seems like a lot of the times. So there's a lot of potential with a multiverse based series to see some things that we probably never would have ever seen out of the American version, you know? Yes. Uh, and two, um, like, there's a potential to have a more meaningful impact in terms of what story they decide to tell, because anime tends to try to be a little profound with the stories they tell a lot of the times, you know? Yeah. I say a lot of the times, not all the time, obviously, but a lot of the times. Yeah, yeah. So, it could, like, I mean, and the point of Rick and Morty is not really to be profound, but there was clearly a bigger picture of, like, trying to kind of do more than you would expect a stupid show like that to do going on with it, you know? Yeah. I mean, given everything I've seen, I I would very much be interested in watching this. I don't know. I, I'm interested in seeing what it's like. You know? Yeah, yeah. Also, I'm curious as to like who that girl is, and also what kind of misadventures they're going to get into because of her. So I don't think that was supposed to be. Uh, shoot, what's her name? Morty's crush. Oh, Jessica. Jessica, yeah. Because I think Jessica's like. Jessica's a redhead. Yeah, redheaded. Yeah. Man, I, I don't know. So it's an interesting choice to add a whole new character that looks like they're going to be part of the main cast. Yeah, I mean, it. it I guarantee you they're adding her as sort of like the, um... Oh. Y'all good? Looks like he got something sticky on his head at some point. Oh. Uh, a little piece of hair that's just like, <laughs> just stuck there. Got like way. a little cow lick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's okay, buddy. But in terms of her, maybe she's going to be like the through point of the season. Like she's gonna, like she's gonna appear uh, to Rick and Morty, and basically just be like, "Hey, all this stuff that's happening, I, 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 I know what's going on." It's like, "Well, what's going on?" She's like, "I can't really tell you yet." And then at the end of the season, she'll reveal like. Yeah, turns out I'm actually not from this dimensional plane at all. I'm actually not supposed to exist because I've looked through the multiverse and I don't exist anywhere else. And she's going to be sort of like a cosmic occurrence that basically not even Rick can explain. A cosmic anomaly, essentially. Yes. And, sh and you know, Rick's just going to be like, I don't know what to tell you, Morty. I, 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 I don't know. Could be interesting. Yeah. I also wonder if they'll keep, like, the uh, fourth wall breaks and stuff. You know they have to. Not necessarily. Well, it, fourth wall breaks. It's like there could be a whole thing where, like, she's the one that realizes that they're in a TV show, and they're just like, what? <laughs> Rick doesn't fucking believe her. He's like, you're stupid. Shut up. <laughs> like, it doesn't it's like, make any sense. It's like, that doesn't make any sense at all, because, number one, let's be honest... Who'd watch this shit? Yeah, exactly. Then just like all of them stare at the camera. <laughs> have to be some kind of fucking idiot to enjoy watching all the stuff that we get into. Jesus. Either that, or either that, or you're really into domestic abuse. Considering some of the shit that happened in the old show that we had, they're all probably traumatized now if they have been watching this. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to know some other people are traumatized as much as we are, if that's the case. Yeah. Uh, oh, Rick, uh, uh, don't you think that that's a bit presumptuous to think that people, people, you know, only watch us because they're they're mentally like they're not mentally right in the head? It's what I expect, Morty, especially when it comes to dealing with little pieces of shit like you. Oh God. Anywho, yeah, Rick and yeah, Morty. I wonder the if anime. they'll uh, keep the characterizations essentially the same as well. Like, I'm assuming they probably would, but... I would say so. They're probably going to change up a few things to make it fit it's in gonna more be... of the anime style, but... It'll just be really interesting to be watching an anime with a character that's a main character that's just, like, a complete piece of shit like Rick is, you know? Mm-hmm. Because I don't see them do that with anime very often either. Well, they do have some characters that are just, like, 
OP and just like, well, well, Gojo's not an asshole, but he is, but he is inside of his own, like, he, like, he does think he's the shit, though. I think it's just more that he knows he's the shit. <laughs> that's exactly right, and that's the thing with Rick. Rick knows he's the shit, and while uh, they're do, you know, because Gojo but he's goes also about really it, really fucking cool... shitty to like all kinds of people because of it. Yeah, Gojo is but not <laughs> Gojo. No, but Gojo, Gojo knows he's the man, but yet doesn't doesn't let it go to his head completely. Like whereas... He doesn't make it everyone else's problem. <laughs> exactly. But Rick, on the other hand, does. Yeah, he yeah. Anyway, Rick and Morty the anime first look. Need to know when this is coming out because I need to. I need to. I need to see it. Rick's like, I'm the fucking man. I'm gonna make it everyone else's problem, including myself, from this and every other dimension. <laughs> Especially myself, because it's only me who can handle the kind of mental stress that goes along with it. Oh God, I need. I need a drink. Uh, Those other versions of me are all assholes. Yeah. They're real piece of shit, Morty. Uh, all right. Anyway, so until next time, everybody. Signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. And it's Bilbo. Yep. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>